For me, the drawing is the backbone of art. I don't care where, what's happening in my life, I have to draw. Okay. Part of the process that I do when doing these is I draw with a 9B. That's the darkest graphite you can get. But this is aqua graphite, or what they're calling now water color graph watercolor graphite or liquid graphite or sometimes it's just called aqua graphite the important thing about aqua graphite is that after i draw i can put this i wet with a brush and I went with the brush and then I start shading with a brush. So I start getting more dimension. But the important thing is still the drawing underneath. Without that drawing underneath, I don't have the structure to create. Now look how much darker that got when I hit it with water. And it's just water. That's all I'm hitting it with. And there's no color. And I have different size brushes. But th this brush is a middle size watercolor brush. And I want this ears to be dark. And so they're The importance for me in drawing is that first I'm, I'm, I'm working out an idea. I don't have duplicate drawings. I have drawings that are different and some of them may look similar ideas, but I'm working out an idea. And when I'm working out an idea, in this process, I can get more values in. What I, what I try to avoid is a mechanical feeling. If I shade with this, like I have up here in the in the uh, horns or ears, whatever you want to call that. It's going to be much darker. It's going to go really black. I'm going to go back over that line again. And I get a little more shade, a little more dark, leading away from the dark to getting it lighter. So I can control the, the dark line like that. But when I come down here, I want to make it thicker and give me more dimension. We're talking about dimension in the drawing, but not uh, shading in the traditional sense. Shading more, more in the sense of like watercolor. Again, I'm, I'm going back down over those lines because I want this to be black black but I want some of that to come through so I haven't dipped back in the water there's less water on the brush and therefore I can do that I can have that happen can you see up in there it makes it more texture It's important that you're using a very soft brush. You don't use a bristle brush because the bristle brush will just make a lot of scratchy stuff. 
which may be what you want, but not for this process here. Now I cut my, one of my big watercolor brushes that come to a fine point. I'm going to do this and I could, so I'm bleeding the line. And then I come back up and I want, I could take this outside So up. Uh, I can go with thicker and thin with this brush. This brush can go down the, to this kind of a line or out here to make that wash peeling around the sides. For, for an overall general brush, I like this size here. And this is the old fashioned pure sable. And for me, the pure sable is very important because a synthetic one is very good for painting, but it's not good for the softness that I want. And in this case, I want the soft line like that. And this always comes to a point So I can get a variety in these. The drawing itself without the uh, water is I do separately and I usually do it while I'm having my espresso, which is an important part of the process. I want a variety in the lights and darks in the line. But I also want to continue flows flow in the line. So a line like this is very important, but it has to go eventually change. And it changes down here, it gets darker. And then, it, then I put a little puddle of gray right through here in, in the... So I've got a variety in there, in where the, this would be mouth, and this would be nose. Sometimes I want the brush strokes to show and sometimes I don't and that adds to my variety. 
I want people to know I'm using a brush. I want people to know that I'm using graphite, which is the uniqueness of this way of working that has only become possible in recent years. And that is the aqua graphite, the graphite that is water soluble. As I go down into my bucket of water, I set up a different uh, I set up a different dimension when I make that thicker line, but it's not as dark as the thicker line up there. I want a different thickness, but a different tone in the thickness. A different tone in the thickness is important to giving the line a dimension. The line it gets a dimension in this that it doesn't have in when it's by itself. However, I'm, when I'm drawing, I'm drawing essentially in a contour sense of a shape of my eye, nose or mouth or whatever I'm doing, That's that dimension may come in the drawing itself, but it's never the dimension that comes out of values. When I push down on the brush, I get this. I get a wider line and I get a looser And more gray. If I go over it a couple of times, I may want that for that dark that I want in there. I don't want it being the same all through that section there. You can see I did not go back into the water. The water would make it darker. And that's the sense that it's the opposite of watercolor, where more water gets lighter, this gets darker. Now I can look at this and find another brush that may be thicker, a synthetic. This is a, a, a mixture of synthetic and uh, uh, sable, which is the new, a lot of the newer brushes are a combination, not one or the other, but a mixture. They come to a very good point like the Windsor Newton Series 7 that was made for Queen Victoria. And when you're making it for the Queen in your Windsor Newton, you better get it right because she was a fuss, fussy lady. Okay, I'm gonna take this and go outside this line here with a red. Just to, and that's it. I just wanted to, to have something there that's adds a little bit of color, but it's still part of the drawing. For me, the drawing is the backbone of art. I don't care what, what's happening in my life, I have to draw. I don't care if I'm in the middle 
of uh, the in the desert somewhere and they're lost I'll find some way to draw in the sand I just have to draw and I have to draw every day and I have to, and that is part of my sensibility keeping my mind and my hands active and it's for me it's the it's the mind and the hands working together with the eye but the minds and the hand working together in a continuous motion <laughs>